swung to the other way. Messier. Messier Anderson goes by, drops it to Graves. Graves scores! And Graves! Bobby Holik trying to run it in. Guy Potsev standing off in the corner. Randy McKay back to the point. The Tisoff shot. Save. Score! The in front. This game's tied at one. Devils back on the rush. Carpenter can skate. Carpenter took a hip check and hard. Luka Boom got him and he's down on the ice. A good solid hit, but it ended up being on the thigh or the knee as Buka Boom caught him. Bobby Carpenter is down on the ice. And one tough stay-at-home defenseman. And he's huge, too, at 6'5", 225. He is so hard to go around. Here's Bobby Carpenter. See his right leg outstretched? Yeah, it didn't look like Buka Boom extended his knee at all. It was more a collision, and Bobby just wasn't ready for it. Look pretty Boy, good. Who was that that got Buka Boom after the hit? Took a stick to the head. Buka Boom he? got wiped out after the fact, and this is not this is not good for the New Jersey Devils. He actually took Martin Brodeur, the goalie, out twice in game two. Here's Niedermeyer with the chokehold, and Esatikin and Antikinen isn't really trying to get away there. Look, he's holding his arm up against his throat. He looks like he's holding Niedermeyer's hand up there. Look at him smiling. This is his type of game. He made it look like he was getting choked to death, and I'll bet you he was trying to hold Niedermeyer's arm in place. I'll tell you something, Esatikinen doesn't miss a trick on the ice. He is something else. Well, this is where he got him, right here. Right here. Right there. That's the one that Mike Keenan's upset about. Riche still on the ice as low knocked him down. John McLean. McLean back to the point. He and Niedermeyer are both there. McLean holds it in. Ooh, an elbow on Bookaboom. Boy, did he ever get Bookaboom. John McLean put his elbow up and nailed it. Oh, did he ever. And Bookaboom looked briefly to Terry Gregson to see if he had seen it. Gregson didn't even come close to seeing it. Got him right in the chops. New Jersey Devils have given up only nine power play goals themselves on 71 chances in the playoffs. Leach side shot. Score! Steve Larmer set up by Brian Leach. Noonan brings it in. Noonan taken out of the play nicely by Driver. Hit put on Danico and Messier. They collide. Danico gets the elbow up. Centering pass. Tips on Brodeur. Rito shot. Save Brodeur and Messier. Martin Brodeur holding the fort for the Devils. And Messier and Danico go at it. Baby Claude Lemieux came in with a straight right there too that looked like it caught Messier on the side of the head. Watch the right coming here, right there, the, by Claude Lemieux. Did he catch that little right? It was a short one, but it landed. Richter with screen, Tommy Avalon. Avalon couldn't get MG knocked down. Driver set it up in front of the score! Low cleared it up out of the zone. Garrett hit by Essa Ticken and played in by Salapuka. Larry Salapuka, who's picked up the tying goal on a power play in the second period. And a penalty coming up along the boards. So it is a boarding call. There's Essa Tekkenen who's gone to the bench. Power play coming up here. Watch the vertical lift here by Billy Guerin. Launching speed. Wow. Can't do that. Penalty, I think, coming up here. Leach was there. Dow's got it. Knocked away by Leach. Cut hunts him. Guerin picks him down. Guerin reaching for the puck. The game almost slows down to Waltz time here as nobody wants to make a mistake. Risa, what a save! Unbelievable! Back it comes to Messier again. Front shot on Brodeur. Covered it up short side. Driver swept it away. Graves back Messier. Messier looking in front. Has Anderson. Shot side Brodeur. Rebound Brodeur. Second save on Anderson. And he gets a whistle. And in they go. Oh. Gosh, Brodeur's skate, it looked like, came down right on somebody's head. Garen down and Zalapuka. Zuboff on him. Zuboff. Garen. He takes Garen down. The puck's underneath Billy Garen. There is no whistle. Garen still kicking at it. Zuboff. Whistle. Woo, elbow. Straight right. Now Kovalevin down. Now low and down. Now driver and low. Well, let's see who's got it. Second overtime underway here. Series tied at 1-1. This game tied at 2-2.
Lemieux and Lowe, one on one. On the right side, Tommy Avalon. Tommy Avalon! Here comes Glenn Anderson. Anderson with Mateau trailing. Anderson sends it around. Couple up. Centered. Mateau blocked by Scott Stevens. Leach moves up. Leach shot. Save Rodeau. Rebound loose in front. Rodeau can't find it. Shot right over that by Glenn Anderson. Anderson the second chance. Couldn't get it through the pack. Bobby Carpenter putting the hits on the fire side. Back to get it is Anderson. Anderson to Kovalev. Kovalev kicking at it. Shot behind the net. Rebound loose in front. Stop! Stop on Mateau! win in double overtime. Magnificent sporting event ends in double overtime. Stefan Matteau finding the loose puck, and the Rangers win three to two on their 50th shot of the game. And it had to be a shot that Brodeur didn't have a chance on. Anderson was a dynamo. So was Kovalev. He flipped it up inadvertently. Scott Stevens seemed to hit it with his chest, knocked it out front. And from point blank, Stefan Matteau scored the goal of his life. The first of this series, the fourth of this year's playoffs, and the eighth of his career. This angle will tell us just what Martin Brodeur was up against. Kovalev tried to bank it in, missed it. Then Scott Stevens inadvertently banged it out. Oh, Kovalev got a piece of it to keep it alive. And through a maze of legs on the backhand, Stefan Matteau. Double overtime. 6-13 of the second overtime. The Rangers win it 3-2 and take a 2-1 lead in this best of seven series.